Hey guys, Zeke here. So today I thought that I would uh, show you guys just some of the vitamins and supplements that I take um, just for weight loss and for my health in general. Uh, these ones up front, these are actually the ones that I do take on a regular basis, generally in the morning, if not more than once per day. And uh, oh, by the way, sorry if my voice sounds a little hoarse or if you can't really understand me very well. I'm actually coming over the tail end of a, a cold here, so kind of trying to get over that, but <clears throat> Uh, so just to start off with, uh, you know, I have my uh, one a day energy multivitamin. Has pretty much everything you would need, plus some caffeine to help me get going in the morning. Because I have to wake up at 4:30, and I am not a morning person at all. Um, and then vitamin C, you know, which helps with my immune system. Obviously not doing its job since I did get sick, but it does help, and it's probably shortened my sickness by quite a bit. Um, the other one, this one's kind of interesting. I kind of just ran across this at Walmart. Um, cinnamon and I said promotes sugar metabolism which I'm always interested in so I actually bought this and then I got home and uh, did a little bit of research into it and there's actually been quite a few studies that have shown that taking cinnamon on a daily basis can actually you know you know help with uh, insulin resistance and help you lower your blood sugar and kind of be healthier so I've been starting with that if nothing else it's actually worth it because it, uh, it masks the taste of all the other pills that I take so everything just tastes like cinnamon because if you if you take a bunch of vitamins on a daily basis you know that you know if you take a bunch of pills and then you don't eat enough or you you know you maybe burp a little while later it, it tastes disgusting so these actually are almost worth it just because they cover that and they make everything taste great um, the other really important one is B vitamins this is the high potency B complex it has pretty much like a thousand percent of every kind of B vitamin you would need helps with energy and metabolism. It's great. I actually feel a huge difference when I take these versus days when I don't take them. You know, I have lower energy. Um, these actually always these kind of make me just feel happier. I'm always kind of a little more down on days when I I don't take my B vitamins. And then the other one that kind of goes along with that is uh, St. John's Wort. Kind of picked this up just because I was interested in it. Um, yeah, I'm not really depressed or anything. But, you know, it does kind of help with my mood health, being overweight and everything. It is, does get kind of easy to get down and, uh, you know, lose motivation. So that actually kind of helps with that. I do actually, again, with these two, I notice a, a big difference on days when I take them versus days when I don't. So I highly recommend those. These are all the ones that I, I definitely take on a daily basis. Um, some of these I, I don't take necessarily on a daily basis, but I do take quite a bit. This one... Um, I don't really use it that much anymore. It's supposed to help with weight loss. Mostly it's just caffeine, I think. It just has caffeine and, you know, like green tea, which also has caffeine and all that stuff. And when I take these and this one combined with the caffeine, plus if I drink any kind of caffeine later, it doesn't really work out too well. I kind of get a little jittery. But and the other one is Echinacea. This is kind of an herbal supplement that, you know, a lot of you guys have probably heard of. Um, this one I definitely like for, you know, every time I get sick, I start taking this and a ton of vitamin C. It definitely helps helps me get over my sickness a lot faster. Uh, vitamin E, just supposed to be a, a really good anti antioxidant and good for your heart. Um, take these on, you know, maybe not a daily basis, but every now and then. Same with these, just whenever I feel like it. And then potassium, if you guys have ever been on a, a low-calorie diet or a very low-calorie diet, specifically if you have ever tried HCG, you know that you may you know you may not be getting all the vitamins and nutrients you need and your legs will start aching really bad and that's kind of a where potassium comes in you take that and it kind of gets rid of that um, especially I did HCG a while back and I would get the worst leg cramps and leg aches and it just wasn't good because um, I, I was pretty much potassium deficient so I started taking that and that definitely helped a lot zinc uh, this is just supposed to be really good for a lot of different metabolic processes that you know, you may and you may not get enough zinc in your diet. I take these every now and then, you know, just because I was told I need them. And then melatonin. This one's kind of a big one for me. Um, I have a really hard time sleeping. I've suffered, you know, from insomnia for most of my life, if not just regular sleeping issues and not being able to shut my brain off at night and go to sleep. 
at least help a lot. They're they're all natural. I try and you know not take them on nights when I'm really tired. I know I can just fall asleep, but on most nights these really help me fall asleep. I actually recommend that. But you don't want to overdo it because you start building a resistance. I actually started off with the one milligram ones and the three milligram ones, and then after a while I was having to take two or three of the three milligram ones to get to sleep, and then I found these and they help quite a bit. Um, but you know they're more natural, but I was reading up on it, and you know, if you take too much of it, or if you you know start building up dependency, it can actually start affecting uh, you know you can start getting depressed and things like that. So, don't necessarily you know recommend taking too much of it, but on nights when you can't get to sleep, that's definitely better for me than like Tylenol PM or Ambien or anything like that. I've been I've used those before and didn't really like the side effects or the you know kind of like that hangover feeling in the morning. Um, but yeah, those are pretty much what I take on a daily basis. And then I thought I'd just show you guys, you know, what I kind of eat. Um, over here, if you haven't seen it already, is uh, the protein powder I use. I actually just barely got this a few days ago. And uh, I was using, this is actually the kind you get from Costco. I was using the kind you get from Walmart, which is over here. And sorry, my kitchen is totally gross. But um, this kind actually tastes about 500% better than the other kind that I was using. Um, I definitely recommend this kind over like the Walmart brand. It tastes really good and uh, mixes a lot easier, it's a lot smoother. I bought this uh, blender bottle which definitely helps kind of put this like whisk in there and that uh, helps mix everything a lot better. Right? If you don't have one of those I recommend it. Um, I also add, if you guys, if you guys have seen my, uh, what do you call it, the My Fitness Pal video I made where I go over everything, everything I eat, I add this to quite a bit of stuff most notably to my protein shake in the morning and also the yogurt. Uh, it's supposed to be just supposed to be one of those really healthy foods. Um, has a lot of the, the fatty acids and stuff you need also a lot, as well as a quite a bit of fiber. So I add that to you know yogurt, protein shakes, pretty much anything. I actually made oatmeal this morning. Uh, the old fashioned kind, not the quick kind because this is where it's at. Tastes really good. I actually added some honey, some flaxseed, and uh, the fiber to it. And it was actually really good. Actually, I put in a little cinnamon as well. And didn't eat it with milk like I normally do because I'm trying to cut down on sugars and calories, and milk tends to have a lot of sugar in it. But, um, and it was, it was really good. I was actually surprised. I was kind of expecting it to be gross, but I enjoyed it. Uh, the reason I got this fiber is if you've ever gone on a really um, low fat diet and particularly with you know low fat and lower carbs I'm trying to kind of cut down on my carbs a little bit and increase my protein you you know constipation <laughs> kind of becomes a thing I, mean, I don't want to give you guys too much information but uh, it's yeah I, it's been pretty pretty rough so I uh, decided to get the get some fiber in there because I also wasn't, wasn't getting anywhere near the the fiber intake that my fitness pal was recommending, like I think it's something like 20, 20 something grams, and I was only getting maybe 10 or 15 on a daily basis, if that. And so I started adding this and this to all my foods, and that definitely helps a lot. Um, it's definitely, uh, you know, because I actually I was getting some stomach aches, and it just wasn't very good, and that actually helps quite a bit. Um, I'm trying to think what else, that's pretty much it. I definitely recommend that, you know, adding some fiber this this kind actually is really awesome because it has no flavor um really doesn't taste you can't really taste it all when i added it to oatmeal added quite a bit in there and it it dissolved right away you couldn't see it or taste it it was it was pretty nice and uh yeah so that's pretty much it um you know i, I definitely recommend taking a multivitamin no matter what it is just get one of those because that'll help especially if you're if you eat the same foods on a daily basis like me, I tend to stick to, you know, ham sandwiches and protein shakes and then whatever I eat for dinner. I don't tend to have a lot of variety there. So multivitamin kind of helps you get the, the vitamins and stuff that you need. Uh, B vitamins are another one I really recommend because they, they definitely give you more energy and help with your metabolism. Cinnamon I really like. I think it's, I really think that it actually works. I do feel more leveled out. I don't seem to have like the sugar rushes and stuff like that that I've had before. Um, and also, it's again, it's worth whatever nine bucks it was for that to just mask the taste of all the other vitamins and pills I'm taking. So, so yeah, those are just some things to think about, and uh, that's really all I've got for today. Um, sorry about my gross, dirty kitchen, but 
yeah so there it is uh thanks for watching and have a good week and good luck on your own weight loss